murder for whatever purposes. Slavery, rape, murder. You've just found the new British franchise. What we're doing with that little kid? It's wrong. You can never come back. Don't leave. Go talk to the cops. I can't talk to anybody. Who shot you, Bean? Kermit. <laughs> Clinton McSmith has been visiting someone in prison. This person's been involved in child abuse before. You said you had important news, Roger. It involves my inevitable demise. There's this guy at college. Have you been with him? Kids should just be happy, shouldn't they? They're coming for me. Keep the phone switched on, we'll find you. What's your name? Jamie. You don't have to be scared. Have some. Oh, can they see goals? You really don't want to be doing this power thing, right? Yeah. Scaring and abusing uh. kids. <laughs> You're definitely not social services. Can't have the case conference until the introductions are out of the way. He's mental. John, he comes across as being quite scary, but I wouldn't worry about that, cos what you can't see is that inside it's much worse. Well, how does it feel now? Now you're not in control anymore. Now you're experiencing my total dominance over your weaker body. Now that I decide whether you live or die. Do you want a biscuit? Take you somewhere safe, you know. Promise. The Sapphire Cartel. They've already got fresh cargo. A cargo of kids? From Bulgaria. And they're travelling over here now. So. B's death. Sorry, though it was. It's going to give us the means by which to frame Clinton and tell us all he knows about the Sapphire Cartel. If we're going to frame him, though, we need the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. This Kermit that B told me about, I'm assuming that's some kind of gang name. His real name is Kamal Hussein. B was shot by two bullets on a Czech CZ-100. Is that a decent gun? It's better than a converted starting pistol, another kind of hardware you're going to toss. You ever had to toss your hardware, John? Which one of these kids do you think they bought, eh? This one or this one? Where do you think he is now, eh? Where do you think he's gonna end up? Well, come on! You must have some kind of joke about it! Fortunately for us, Kamal fled to Cyprus just after the murder. And I'm confident, very confident, that we can find the gun.
the semi-automatic pistol that fired the fatal shots. We received some help from the security services, ensuring that Kamal understood the importance of both cooperation and silence. Apologies for lateness, bit of a big weekend. Sue's insisted on dragging me to carnival. Lenny, this is Matt Simmons, MI6. We're looking forward to meeting you, Lenny. I do like a rogue unit. Good old-fashioned human intelligence with a cutting edge. I think I mentioned you had admirers. So, you're going after the Sapphire Cartel. National security implications. Do you mind if I sit in? So, um, going forward, Len, what do you have in mind? We hang a murder charge on Clinton McSmith. He allows us to take control of the Sapphire Cartel's distribution network in Britain and lure in the customers. Fly trap. I love it. Then we move in hard and put Clinton away. And what does he get for his cooperation? Fifteen years in prison. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not a man of my word. Well, you have got your ducks all in a row, haven't you? So tell me. What is your agenda? Savannah, we still need your help. How? What's always been the problem with Clinton McSmith? <sighs> Witnesses? Exactly. And now we have one. Somebody who knows how terrified of Clinton B was, who got a phone call asking her to meet him, and who saw Clinton running from the bandstand. You can be that witness. You can have your day in court. I didn't see him, though. That's not true. What if everybody started lying in court? Everybody does. What, are you scared? Is that what you think? That I'm scared of him? You killed B. Hey. Would you like to come into the back and discuss that, mate? I ain't scared of you. No? No. I know what you are. And what am I? You're a liar. A thief. A bully. A murderer. And a two-bob coward because you get kids to do your dirty work for you. Oh, you know a lot. You won't get away with it forever. One day there'll be justice for people like you. is beating you idiot otherwise I'd be just like you I was scared, so I went to see Clinton and I told him what I thought of him face to face. I had my day in court. You did what? I'm going home. Now, they'll come after you again. Well, I ain't living scared because of them. Savannah. No! The bullying scum! Look, they raped my friend, they murdered me and they want me to hide! Well, no way! I'm here! Antonov? I have spoken to my people at home in Bulgaria. They're prepared to continue with our arrangement. Excellent. But they do have some concerns. What about? About your people outside. The barber? He is not the right person for this level of work.
Well, then we must work together to address those concerns. Good. When I said no negative publicity, what did you understand me to mean? I have to sack some employees from time to time. Our international friends don't like it. It attracts attention. I know that. I did it that way because I knew... You did it because you are an incontinent, Clinton. You cannot help yourself. It's in your blood. You can't talk to me like that. <laughs> I've always done everything for you. That's because you're incapable of thinking for yourself. And every time you try, it ends in disaster. Everything's safe now. I'm ready and waiting for the first delivery. This is a whole different ball game, Clinton. I don't need a street thug. Yeah. Hey. What are you doing here? Come to see how you are. Bored. How's this new family? They're okay. I keep having nightmares about being in that place again. I dream I'm being attacked by dogs. Yeah, they said when I called. You still got that phone? Oh, you want it back? I got a new one. That's for you. Call me whenever. What if you're asleep? <laughs> Sleeps for wimps. Any time. Sexy close up, do they? Probably killed a few people. Including B. Hmm. Light strange this time of day. A friend of mine is dying. It's unsettled me. Given you a glimpse of your own mortality. You've a hard kick sometimes, John. I'm sorry about your friend. Mm. Well, uh, I'm sure if you plant that on Clinton, it'll chase the loser away. Mr. Hyde. Oh dear, you have been in the wars. Has my colleague explained your options to you? I left that for you. Great. Option one, you do everything we tell you. Option two, we kill you. What do you want me to do? I'm Beth Morgan, your cousin. Actually, no, I don't want to be related to you. Your business colleague. Nothing's worked for me. I've tried everything. All the fertility treatments, IVF, the lot. I just want to have a baby. Call Clinton McSmith, vouch for me, set up a meeting. You deviate from this requirement in any way, and my colleague will hunt you down and kill you. How's Jamie? He's with foster parents. What about my mother if he sorted that? Don't really want to talk about it. You want a bald egg? No. I want a bottle of tequila, a couple of gram of coke, and a fat bag of skunk. I'm having a bald egg. Go on, then. You want toast? Soldiers? I'm not a baby. Go on, then. What's happening with the nuns? It's getting Rose an introduction to Clinton. What are you doing? Let's the air escape. It means that pressure doesn't build up inside the egg and make a crack in the pan. You try it on yourself. What? Nothing. One perfect egg. Oh, it was definitely brave what you did. <laughs> they talk about gangs all the time in the papers and the news and that. 
It's always hoodies, this, knives, that. They never really talk about how the girls get treated. Yeah, well, it's tough for girls on those estates. Yeah, it's cruel. I'm going to meet Clinton. Why? Well, someone's got to plant the gun that killed Bee on him. What kind of a woman do you think Clinton likes? What's the kind of woman he'd be interested in? How would I know? Have a guess. When I was facing him off, he touched me, put his hand on me. It's just him trying to get his power back. You should look down your nose at him, yeah? Make him think that you despise him. You've got to make him want to rip your knickers off, right? Ah. You know, you would be perfect for this job. <laughs> Uh, Clinton, this is the lady I told you about. Hey, really nice to meet you. What's happened to your face? Oh, God. Some idiot ran into the back of me. Uninsured as well. How much have you told him? Not everything. Can you help me with what I want? Yeah, I can usually help. Right, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. <sighs> I really want a baby. I've tried all the usual channels, but everything's political correctness these days. Better a child stays in an African orphanage than it has decent parents. So you want an African baby? Oh, what can you offer me? Eastern European? Probably, uh, probably an orphanage kid coming from somewhere like that. Fine. The price is... Money is not an issue. Not the best way to bargain. I'm not here to bargain. Are you going to hit me again? No. I've got rid of my anger towards you. So what now then? You're back on standby until we need you again. Jamie? I dreamed I was on my own. In that place again. Well, you're not there anymore, mate. Listen, if you want to feel sorry for somebody, check this out, mate. Went and left me. Why did your wife leave you? I wasn't good enough for her. Oh, Callum. I wet the bed again. It's all right, mate. Don't worry about it. Just take off the sheets. Put something over the wet bit for now. It won't be angry with you. So, what about the paperwork? No, we'll take care of everything. A certificate, medical stuff, passports, GCSEs and drugs license if you want. Just get me my baby, yeah? <laughs> so this is where you do business? Yeah. Do you like a drink? No, I'd rather just get this done quickly. Don't mind if I have one, do you? No. Have you got the down payment? So what's your preference, boy or girl? I want a little girl. Newborn? Toddler? Newborn. We can do it, but it's gonna take a little time. We just have to be patient. Fine. Um, have, have you got a bathroom? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's up the stairs on the left. It's got my makeup in it.
We're gonna have that celebratory drink or what? I'm married. You ought not to tell your husband about this bit, man. Ah, you scum. There's no need to bargain. So, you lost your man as well? Very surprising. Ivano didn't make mistakes. <laughs> Are we set? Your package is making its way across Europe. They're very pleased that you got rid of the obstacle. Clinton was useful for a time. But they were right to worry about him. You knew him for years? You have no emotion? It's becoming a nuisance. The business outgrown him. Ah, yes. There is no room for sentiment in business. Exactly. None. So, who do you have to replace him? A new distributor. Reliable. He'll receive the first package. When I get out of prison, I will take responsibility. And if your appeal hearing is unsuccessful? You get the package back to dispose of as you see fit. The man with the machine gun was a Bulgarian called Ivano Popov. I know. It's an unfortunate name given the circumstances. The Bulgarian here, what you think Westbrook okayed it from inside? He's thriving inside. So the plan to dismantle the Sapphire Cartel using Clinton is... Is in pretty much the same state as Clinton himself. We know virtually nothing about Leo Westbrook. We don't know how he operates inside. We don't know about his connection with the Bulgarians. No, he's bringing in kids somehow. So what do we do? We send a team inside to check him out. A team? Hmm. Oh, no. No way. What? 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 Non-negotiable. Back to prison, boys. We have to find Westbrook's new network. Rose can work Richard Hyde on the outside. You work Westbrook from the inside. And when we have that information? His appeal's coming up, sir. He's too dangerous to get out of prison. I want him taken out. And it must look like an accident. I'm not going to pretend. 
tell you if you start making enemies. Sure you will. some ground rules, shall we? Chill out, John. We just got here. Give us a chance to settle in, mate. We need you to put a call in to Leo Westbrook. What for? What do you always go to Westbrook for? You want another kid. What do I get from all this? If you're very lucky, a segregated unit rather than a canal. the music. Brandenburg Concerto, right? It's supposed to turn babies into geniuses. That's Mozart. Of course. Sorry to disturb. Did I see you earlier? Arguing with your cellmate in the canteen. Yeah. Certain things just don't joke about here. I lost three of my battalion to a roadside bomb. You're in the army? You look like you've got it all worked out. Anything you need? My new cellmate would be nice. That can be arranged. Well, a little bit of bark will do to lift the spirits for now. I'll leave you in peace. So, Westbrook? Heavily protected. Got bodyguards with him the whole time. Stays in his cell mostly, he likes reading, listens to music. Bit of a military knot, actually. Should be easy to make friends, then. Well, I was in the army, he just reads about it. Even better, he's got to be interested in someone who's, you know, who's yomped and thrown grenades for real. I can get to him. Until I know where those kids are, I can't finish the job. Yep, that's being taken care of. How? I'm using the delightful Mr. Hyde to find out who's replacing Clinton. <laughs> I feel like your good lady wife. John, babe, there's a map and a file in the cake I baked for you. There's no need to point out the most implausible part of that statement. And what's Rose saying? They're gonna try and use Hyde to find out where those kids are. Once we have that. All you need to do is get past the team of Bulgarian circles. Making it look like an accident will be the hardest bit. Find me some smack, Callum. John. I know it's boring in here, mate, but you don't want to be going down that road. Just sniff out the drugs, Callum. It is your party trick, after all. We won't be able to meet here soon. I understand. Morphine is a wonderful thing, though. Pain is still there, but it isn't. Speaking of pain... And don't be fooled by his manner. He's got a bite like a pit bull, that one. And he doesn't let go, either. I don't doubt it. Your team getting ready to deal with Leo Westbrook? Uh-huh. Can I just come around the wicket? It might be better to take out the Bulgarian, Gabor Antonov. Why? He's just a middleman for the Sapphire Cartel, easily replaced. OK, cards on the table, Len. There's a bigger payback for us cutting a deal with Westbrook and taking out the Bulgarian. Is that so? Oh, in terms of national security. You'll have to be more specific. Well, someone we need on our side wants Gabor Antonov dead. Old book and score settling, you know what they're like. Hey, here's where you're making the mistake. No, there's no mistake, Len. Shut up and listen! And don't ever call me Len! I am not here to settle old Balkan gang scores so you can play kiss chase. I'm an ex-copper. My brief is crime, and right now we're targeting a major criminal who's trafficking children. 
Now, if you want to play politics, use your own people. Okay. Matt, I do think trying to piggyback Lenny's op shows a distinct lack of respect. Yes, well, with respect, Roger. You are the ghost at this particular party. Word to the wise, Lenny. Everything's political. Your package is on the boat and will arrive soon. We have contacted your new distributor. Nothing must go wrong. There's something on your mind? There's a new prisoner. Seems to want to make friends. You think he's an informer? Well, you would not be so stupid as to say anything. True. Mm -hmm. We will talk with him. No. Let's keep him close. In fact, let's do him a little favor. Come in. Have a seat. You wanted to talk to me. Wondered if you needed anything, SIM cards, substances to help your time here pass more quickly. That's very good of you. I'll think it over. Listen, by way of a thank you for your service to the country, I'm resolving the problem of your cellmate. What? He won't be quite so chatty when my friends have had a conversation with him. Concerto, my favorite. Oh, listen, listen to the harpsichord. I did say I'd call somebody on the outside at a certain time, so don't go anywhere, right? Stop. <laughs> Not in my cell, lads. I'll get the blame. We'll take him outside then. No. no. Just leave him alone. I'm in here. I don't like you. He said he'd call. He hasn't, though, has he? But what more would you like me to do? OK, so here's the thing. If I liked you, I might think effort was enough. But as I think you're a lower form of life than Pond, I'm only interested in results. So you get me that contact, or you'll be in Wormwood Scrubs with I'm a child-killing nonce written all over your cell door. Westbrook owes you. Find out where you get your next kid from. OK. Voicemail. Leave a message. Leo, it's Richard. Uh, I'm disappointed that you haven't contacted me as we agreed. Now, um, I understand you have an appeal pending. And I assume you don't want any problems, so call me back. You ever heard that phrase? It's quiet. Too quiet. Never felt it in your company, though. Prison's the most scary when it's quiet. Noise is good. Come on. Where are you taking him? John? You can't leave me on my own, John. What if they come back? Greetings. Who are you? John Mercer. Meet Matt Simmons. What do you want? Forget Leo Westbrook. Kill Gabor Antonov. And why should I follow your instructions? Make us a pretty powerful friend. Someone who can help find Russian missiles gone astray in Moldova. Do you know the biggest difference between you and Lenny Douglas? <laughs> I'd hope you could think of more than one. He studied me. Before he came to get me in prison. You watched me, and he learned. 
You knew what books I read, how long I slept for at night. Knew all my weak spots, so I had time to work that out. He even gave me a strange little family. Man's a genius for that. He's, what's the right word? He's thorough. He never cuts a corner when it comes to messing with your head. I don't take orders from you. You do what I say, or you'll be spending more time in here than you think. See you in on. Gray. Stuck in the middle of a turf war between spies and cops. This is getting better and better. It might just be the solution. I'm thinking. Just talk to me then. Tell me your secrets. Sometimes I think I need to kill people. It's the thing that makes me feel alive. Who is he? John, who is he? Who's that? Yeah. John, who is he? Is he real? Shut up. Yeah. We know the distributor and where the kids are coming in. Go ahead with Westbrook. Thanks. Well? Westbrook has contacted Hyde with a number for his distributor. We're on. Sweet. What are you doing here? Tell your boys to step off. So? Unless you do exactly as I say, you'll be dead by tomorrow morning. And that will let happen. The deal has already been done to take you out. Somebody in Eastern Europe wants you badly enough to make an offer to the British state. I'm guessing you know who that somebody is. See, there's only one real way you can get yourself out of this predicament. And what is that? You cut a better deal with me. You give me five minutes alone with Leo Westbrook, and you get to stay alive.
welcome to the sanctuary of the great British care system, kids. <sighs> you old cynic. What they had waiting for them was much worse. Your boy disobeyed me. That's why he's my boy. In fact, I should thank you for offering him a solution. I can be pretty spiteful when I don't get my way. Ask my wife. Your plan to kill Antonov wasn't authorized, wasn't it? Bullen checked it out. Pulling rabbits from other people's hats. Well, you stayed one step ahead of me this time. I shall require some quid pro quo if we are to remain friends. Choked on an apple and nobody any the wiser. <laughs> I like that. A lot. So over there is the deer park. Down here. Got a little trout stream if you fancy a spot of fly fishing. <laughs> Come on. So, what's your short gaff? Oh, Matt. Just wait there a second. I thought you weren't speaking to me. I wasn't. I was Professor Yaffle. It's over. How come? He didn't make me laugh. The world's not a big joke, Manuela. Who's that? It's Jamie. Come here and say hello. This is the wife. Remember the one I was telling you about? The drug mule I rescued from the gutter. You then threw it all back in my face. <laughs> Hola, Jamie. No, I speak very slowly. I don't laugh at a silly accent. She's from Colombia. Hi. She's so cute. Oh, no, Jamie. That's how all the trouble starts. Don't look in their eyes. De hecho, de menos. That means... Yeah. You miss me. I remember. You hurt me. Looking good. You've been working out. I wanted to say thank you. Everything. Be careful, Danny. Be very careful of Simmons. He wants your tea. Gideon Stone. Biggest wholesale in the UK heroin market. All the sideline is snuff movies. Somebody has to stop him. Do our final orders of what to do if we find him? Just watch him, John. Nothing else. You've realised you can't kill me. So you want me to disappear? I think that would be in both our interests. The vultures are circling. We need allies. Who sent you? 